podcast. My name is Jaira, your host, and oh my word, have I missed y'all. I've missed you guys. I know I didn't publish an episode last week. I honestly, when it happened and when I knew it wasn't going to go through, I was like, dang it, it happened. I broke the streak. And the past 11 episodes, I was able to push and create and publish. And last week, y'all, it was just nuts with a capital N. Um, For work, we had a product launch event at a major retailer. And uh, it's actually under my belt in my department. And so the marketing team and I, which is me, myself, and I, I am (laughs) our marketing team, was running around everywhere um, in preparation for this event. And then the next morning, the following morning, we had our office inauguration and I had to prepare for that as we have a, uh, a display that I designed um, in, in our office. So not to mention my two other jobs and I, we had some like unexpected um, personal family stuff happening um, which is so crazy it was so unexpected and yeah so I'm sorry if I haven't read your message for those who have been messaging me especially on Facebook Messenger goodness gracious all there are are just blue dots of unopened unread Facebook messages and I'm so sorry I'm, I'm about to, after I publish this episode, I'm going to respond to y'all. But hi, how are you guys? I hope you've been having a great week. Um, and yeah, I've missed you guys. Today, I just wanted to talk about something that actually happened to me two weeks ago. And this is what I was going to um, record for last week. So I had something, I had a topic uh, prepared I just literally didn't have the time to record it. So um, this specifically happened to me last week. And actually, it was it relates to work. Speaking of my work, um, this was during a presentation that I had. I am my company's kind of like go to presentation girl. So pandemic, um, it was just Zoom presentations all the time. But now we're actually back to in person. People are wanting to meet face to face. And so this one was specifically in Cainta and it was to a table filled with engineers. And listen, I've been doing this since 2018. And when I speak, whether it's for work in a work presentation or just anywhere in this country, it's quite obvious that I'm from abroad. You know, I have a very U.S. American twangy accent. Um, The minute I open my mouth, like people know "Mm, she's not from here. So, um, and and that was pretty obvious, you know, to these engineers um, in this specific area, I would say, you know, the definitely main language is the native tongue, is Tagalog. So anyways, I go through this presentation and afterwards, one of the men asked me just like randomly, nothing about our company, nothing about our products. He just asks, where are you from? I tell him, you know, I'm I'm from the U.S. And in the most, like, dumbfounded tone and manner, this is my best reenactment of his reply to that. And he just goes, why are you here? (laughs) Now, this is where I wish I could interact with y'all. You know, I wish this was maybe like a live or we could do comments in a podcast or whatever. Because I, like, what do you... I want to ask, what what would you say to that? What do you say to that? And so I literally, in the moment, I didn't say anything. I just smiled and, and chuckled. And then we finally got back to like our company and the product. And honestly, phew, the only thing that I could think of, you know, you know, minutes, moments after he said that and asked that, I just thought to myself, well, why not? Like, what are you, what are you trying to say? Um, you know, like, because of his tone, I was just thinking to myself, do you think so lowly of your country? Like, can a woman born 
in a first world country not live in a third world yet very developing country <sighs> and so i've gotten this comment honestly um ever since i lived here even when i was studying um some was studying here back in 2010 some people students and teachers they also asked that same question they just didn't understand especially being in fashion design and marketing, like why I would decide to move to the Philippines to study. And I've had teachers, um, I remember specifically during my entrance interview, she also asked, and I guess, you know, it's a valid question, but she was just like, why do you want to study here? Why, why here? And of course, I've gotten that question in the last recent years with work. And so I never, I honestly never know what to say to that. And the things that I do want to say, I probably should (laughs) hold my tongue because it just, I don't know, it just triggers something in me. And every single time, all I wanted to say to people who ask this is, if only you knew my conversations with God on this subject matter, if only you saw what 2019 looked like when I honestly didn't understand it myself and I felt so lost and borderline depressed because I just felt so stuck. If only you knew that I have to die to myself every day. You know, the world will tell you, do what you want, YOLO. I mean, wait, are people even saying YOLO anymore? You only live once. I don't know. Maybe not specifically the term YOLO, but we're saying it in other ways now, right? And the world always tells us, you know, do what you want, live your life, you only get one, do, you know, all that. And if only you knew the core of my faith is to die to myself every day and intentionally and have to think and work contrary and opposite to what that, of what the world says. I, it's not always been easy, sure, but I've always known that God has always had a purpose for me here. His desires go before my desires, and I want nothing more than to be walking smack dab in the middle of his will, no matter hard, no, no matter how hard and confusing it may be at times. And when I just look back um, and, and, and trust in the Lord and surrender everything to him, then I'm comforted knowing that he knows the plans for my life. So... The only thing I really have for y'all is don't expect everyone to understand God's plans for your life because not everyone will get it. And that's okay. They are just looking at you face value. There's no context, especially like this engineer who just met me, you know, and, and, and knew me for five minutes. He had no context of my life. And so we can't expect everyone to understand why God has us in the season and in the place he has us for a reason. I have been reminded of this verse and y'all know it. I mean, if, 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 if you've been going to church, if you are a fellow believer, if you are a fellow Jesus lover, this is probably one of the first verses that you knew and heard of, but it's Jeremiah 29, 11. And it says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Verse 12, then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. And I just love the first few words of verse 11 when God says, for I know the plans I have for you. I know they don't they don't know he doesn't know she doesn't know but i know the plans i have for you declares the lord it's a statement it's a fact it's truth nothing can alter it nothing can go against it it's god's word and it stands firm it stands true and i think just that few word those few words alone is so comforting to me because even if i don't know even if if my plans are completely wrong and off from what God wants, 
at least I know that someone knows the plans and who better than my creator himself, God, the father himself, the one who knows me more than anyone, the one that knows us more than anyone, the the one that's created all of us, you know, for a specific purpose and a reason. And so I just want to encourage you, whether you are maybe a college student taking up a course or you're even switching to a different major that your family doesn't support nor understand, or maybe you and your family have decided to move to a different city or like me, a whole new country because you truly feel God calling you there and people just don't get it. Or maybe you're starting a business that you're you're really passionate about or really believe that you can succeed and glorify God in, but no one believes in it. No one believes in you. You can't expect everyone to understand God's plans for your life. And I go back to Luke 9, 23. It says, And he said to all, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Daily keyword it's not just in the specific season or it's not just when you finally move to a specific place but it's a moment by moment daily thing so even if it doesn't make sense now and I've, I've talked about this so many times before but even if this season or other people don't understand um, your situation and if you can't even make sense of it when you look back you'll see why and as I also always say, bloom where you're planted, keep going, keep growing. You know, God's thoughts are not our thoughts and God's ways are not our ways. And I'm really thankful for that because our minds, our ways, our thoughts are very limited compared to a limitless God. So I hope that encouraged y'all out there, whoever, you know, is kind of in the same boat and rocking with me. I hope that encourages you. Um, Obviously, it triggered and like really made me feel some type of way. If you couldn't have told if you couldn't tell from this this short episode, Um, but it's something I really believe in because I've lived it out in so many different seasons of my of my life so far. And I know there's more to come. So ah. That felt good to get out, not gonna lie. All right, y'all. I will catch you in the next episode. Take care. Be safe out there. You know, the Rona's still out there. Um, And uh, countries are like having high cases, high number of cases again. But, you know, it is what it is. It's the world we live in. So all we can do is just do the best we can on our part. And that's it. So I'll talk to y'all later. And don't forget, let's get radiant from the inside out. Bye, guys. Love ya.